everyone, it's Stephanie here and welcome back to another video. In today's creative construction video, we are going to be putting together the outside the box dynamics, as well as some of the additional shelves that you can buy to go with this die set. So I have all of the dies laid out in front of me that come with the outside the box. I've went ahead and die cut all of the pieces so you can see them here on screen. So we have the first two rectangles that are going to create the back panel. We have all of these small strips, which is what we're going to use to adhere any type of characters or scene images to our scene. We have the shelf that comes with the box die. This is going to create a standard straight edge shelf. We have a long rectangle die that has two different score lines on it, and you're going to want to die cut this one twice since this is actually going to create the box portion. And then lastly, we have a square and rectangle, which are just decorative elements that you can use to decorate the outside of the box. So I've went ahead and die cut all of the pieces and we'll use all of these to assemble this box card on camera. In addition to the box card, I also wanted to show you some additional dies that coordinate with. This is the outside the box grass. We also have outside the box snow drifts, which gives you four different snow drift options. And then lastly, we have the outside the box waves, which is going to give you four different wave options to be able to add to your box scene. So let's go ahead now and assemble the box card on camera just so you can see how quick and easy it is to use all of the different pieces to create a really fun interactive box card. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm taking the two side rectangle pieces that have the score lines and I'm folding along each of the score lines and just perfecting those folds with my bone folder. This will give it a really nice crisp fold and make sure the box is perfectly shaped when we're finished. To assemble my box cards, I like to use liquid glue. It just gives me a little bit of wiggle room so that I can kind of move the pieces around and make sure I have them fully lined up before I adhere them down. And you can see here that I added the liquid glue to the outer edge of that small score line piece and I adhered the two box pieces together. Now to fully close it, you would adhere the other side as well. But before we do that, I wanna show you a very quick and easy way to add the shelves into the box card before actually closing up the sides. So the first thing I'm going to do is add in the regular straight edge shelf that comes with the outside the box dynamics. This is going to work to create just a straight edge on your shelf. And what I did is I put some adhesive on that little folded tab and I'm going to line this up right on that back score line and I'm going to adhere this down. I use the top edge of the box card to make sure it's straight and I just press down really firmly to adhere that on there. Now I'm going to go in with a piece of the grass so you can see how this one looks. And I just repeated the same process. I added the glue to the little tab piece and I lined it up right beside the white straight edge shelf. I then folded it over and lined it up with the bottom of that first shelf just to make sure I have these all lined up together. I'm going to repeat this two more times, next with a snow drift, so I added that one on there. And then lastly, I'm going to add our little wave piece. And by layering them like this, I'm able to adhere them fully on there. And then all I need to do is add adhesive to the end tabs on the other side and fold over that box edge. And what's gonna happen is when it adheres down and I open it, all of my shelves are completely adhered to both sides and everything lines up perfectly. You do wanna make sure that you leave enough space to close your box there. So I had to lift that wave one up a little bit and I just pressed everything down and now I have all of my shelves in my box card and we are ready to start putting everything else together. I first adhered the smaller rectangle piece on the larger one, and now I'm going to adhere this entire piece inside the box card lined up with the back panel. I'm going to press down, and this is going to give us our back panel, which you can decorate before adding it to your box card. I just wanted to show how you adhere it inside of there. Then to finish this off, we're gonna take our little decorative elements and add them to the outside. This can be cardstock, pattern paper, whatever you want to coordinate with your scene. And then lastly, we have an assortment of rectangle strips that can be adhered to the shelves in your box card, and these will hold all of your stamped and die cut images and elements to create your scene. And then when you have your card fully complete, you can simply fold it flat and it's going to fit perfectly into an A2 size envelope. And then once the recipient receives the card and removes it, they can just press it open and it will stand just like it was intended as a box card. So that is a closer look at the outside the box dynamics as well as the coordinating shelves. Thanks so much for joining me in today's video. As always, I appreciate you being here and I hope to see you again soon.